Where Hawaii Eats is brought to you by the Honolulu Star Advertisers Dining Out, Cisco Hawaii, Outrigger Hotels and Resorts, Gather Federal Credit Union, Royal Sinesta Kauai Resort, JN Automotive Group, Kauai Visitors Bureau, and Red Knot Hawaii. We are in Kilauea, Kauai at Anaina Ho Farmer's Market. Joining me is Tim O'Connor, the owner of Olana Organic Farms. Pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for doing this. Look at these beautiful vegetables. This is like, look at this. Tell me about your farm. We've been um, farming here on Kauai for about 20 years mm -hmm. and grow a wide array of, of fruits and vegetables. Um, we also have value added products, some teas and kitcheries, things that we grow on our farm as well. And um, we, we're, uh, in addition to growing great food, we also grow farmers and gardeners. We have uh, interns and volunteers that come to our farm and learn about how to grow. So, wow. yeah. I, I mean, these vegetables are amazing. Is there, so do you, tell me about like how you harvest vegetables, the, how you do everything on the farm. Well, really what we try to do is have a wide array, a big selection to be able to offer to our customers here at the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. So what that means is a lot of successive planting. So we'll plant some of the same things every week so that we have a good supply throughout the season. And uh, and again, we have a great team of interns that learn how to pluck out the carrots and trim up the other veggies and, and bring them here to the market. So you have a wide array of different vegetables. It just yep. depends on what's in season. Like how uh -huh. do you, so every Saturday you're here? We are here every Saturday. And the hours are? The hours are nine to noon. Nine to noon. Yeah. Wow, so you gotta get up. How do you know how much? to bring? That comes with a few years of experience. Okay. So we take a few things home, we realize, oh, maybe too much this week, but every week's a little different, so you never quite know. Well, that's, so. it's so great to see yeah. like organic um, and, and local farmers and, you know, trying to really, really um, support the local farming industry. We, you know, one of our, my personal and my team's favorite aspects is being here at the market, interacting with our wonderful customers, many of who are loyal and have come every week for a long time, mm -hmm. and others that are new, that are interested in trying new fruits and vegetables and things like that. So it's very gratifying to help feed our community yeah. with our food, but also with sort of the knowledge and value of local and organically produced food. Well, we definitely want to get more exposure to this farmer's market. I know that you guys always have a lot of people that do come here, and we they do. look forward to the local products that you guys offer. Yes, yes. So, but thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Love, it's, I, I, I'm amazed by everything that you have brought to the table here. Thank you. We're at Anaina Ho Farmer's Market. Yes. With Adele Rosa, owner of Rosa's Tropical Exotics. Exotics. Yes. And this is, you're known for this. You're known for this pineapple. Or I'm coconut. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're known for the coconut mm -hmm. drink. Right. So we captured you, take it, you you literally like open it up here and you put a straw in it and people can drink it while they're walking around this wonderful mm -hmm. farmer's market. How long have you been doing this? More than three decades, I believe. Three decades? Yeah. Wow. So where your farm is on Kilauea? No, it's in Kapahi. Kap so okay. you come here every Saturday? Every Saturday and then I go to the other market. So you do farmers, you do a lot of the different markets? I have three. Three. Mm -hmm. So you're known for your coconuts. What else, what other products do you bring? Uh, we have the tropical exotic fruits like um, egg fruit, the star apple or kaimito. I have the um, rambutan, the longan, the chocolate sapote. And then what else do you have? Usually I bring abu, but it's not uh, it's not season right now. Star fruit. When Star it's fruit. season, it's really really sellable. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. So it just varies depending on the season. Yes. Yeah, but everything is organic. You grow everything we, and you bring it we, here. Yeah, we don't spray no any. Spray. Yeah. No, no. No spray. 
no not pesticide. Fine. No pesticide. No. Good. That's yeah, good. We use uh, um, we don't use chemical fertilizer. Yeah. But this is a top seller for you. Everyone yes. likes you to, mm -hmm. to open it up at the coconut right. and drink it too. Yeah. So this is how much? It's five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars yeah. each. You can get when you come to the farmers market. Okay. You can actually have Adele actually open these for you. So make sure you visit her when you do come to the market. Thank you for Thank doing you. it. Thank you. Mahalo. Mahalo. We're with Anthony Lahoven of Kauai Gourmet Nuts. Yes. The reason why I wanted to talk to you is that the names of your nuts are funny. Right. So tell me the names. Well, they're made to make you get interested in nuts because everyone's heard of nuts, but we have different special flavors. So what we have are little windows in case you don't like the name, mm -hmm. so you can actually see the nuts. But these are salted toffee. Mm -hmm. We love those. That's our po most popular nut. This is funny. That's what you're talking about. This is <laughs> cock doodle doo doo. And we've got white chocolate in there and cacao nibs. And the rooster is like our, you know, island bird here. Yes. As you probably they're know, it, it's trying to there's sleep. There's more chickens and roosters here than any other island. Right. <laughs> and we're proud of and it. And you're proud of it. And you put it right on your the bag. Yeah. So how do people get more information about your nuts? <laughs> <laughs> well, they give me a call. No, uh, come by. <laughs> come by our booth. <laughs> you started it. She started it. <laughs> So the website is kawaiigourmetnuts.com. That's correct. And then there's, it's very special because you do, you, there's not many macadamia nuts that grow here on Kauai. Right. So you actually source them from Big Island. Mm -hmm. And then do you, you roast them here? Yeah, so we roast them, kettle roasted. We also make savory nuts, four different kinds. They're spicy to garlicky. We also have nut butters. The salted toffee is our most popular flavor. And we just take the nuts and we grind them into like a peanut butter. So and you, you can, can put on bread and on toast or oh. apples or whatever you want. Oh, okay. And you are here every Saturday? Every Saturday at all the farmers markets. All the, the farmers yep. markets. And we have a shop in Kaloa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well thank you so much, Tony. You're welcome. All right. We're ready for a take? <laughs> we're ready to go? You're done already. Oh that was oh <laughs> I'm just kidding. The boop. Thank you for inviting us to be here. Can Thank you, you for being here. Yeah, That's it's great. fun. It's been it's been fun. You guys have wonderful vendors. Tell me more about how people can get more information on being a vendor. On um, being a vendor, uh, what people can do is they send an email to market at aninaho.org. Mm -hmm. uh, I pass on an application form. Just get more information about what they do. Uh, the requirements we have are everything has to be sourced from Kauai and um, Roughly 80 to 75% of our vendors are uh, farmers with produce or um, fruits, vegetables, things like that. No, it's beautiful, um, beautiful produce. I mean, I, I, it, they're like, it's like, they're healthy and, you know, just yeah. beautiful, beautiful products here. Yeah, Wonderful. and we actually, I took over being market manager the beginning of September and um, we expanded to use all of the campus mm -hmm. and added some more vendors. Um, but I walked into a situation where we had 1,200 people coming through every Saturday. Wow. And that's just because this farmer's market has been happening for over a decade. As this property changed, you know, first they added the mini golf course, then they added the pavilion, then they added different um, elements of the property. It, so this is, there's a restaurant on site as well? Yeah, so a Ninaho Community Park is a nonprofit um, the Porters, Bill and Joan Porter, um, donated the funds for everything that's here. Mm -hmm. It's a very high quality establishment. Um, the Pavilion is a full event center. Uh, we have concerts there. Mm -hmm. um, people can rent it out for special events. Oh, um, but we have a full commercial kitchen down there. Um, we have a cafe up top here, 18 hole mini golf course. Um, just grass area for people to use and utilize oh, so nice. whatever the event may be. And, there's actually a really cool hiking trail. The Waikoua Loop is in the back. Wow. Um, our access is is off because of some overgrown albizias, but you can just access it from the dog park. And it's a good it's a good spot. But wow, this is beautiful. I, I mean, kind of fell into it, and, and it's a great market. So it's we want to well, preserve Kauai it. Well, is beautiful, yeah. and um, for more information, you can go to aninaho.com. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you for your info. Thank you. I'm with Evan McAfee, owner, baker of Midnight Bear Bread, located in Hanapepe. 
at the Anina Ho Farmer's Market. And he actually saved some pastries for us to try because there's the line a mile long oh, yeah. before you're even set up Definitely, to go. every time. So what, what what's so crazy about these breads? Uh, well, we make everything from scratch. It's all organic. Uh, we bake everything fresh at our bakery in Honopepe. So um, starting from scratch, uh, we start with the flour, water, and we actually have our own sourdough starter. So it's uh, 10 years old, um, been going now the whole time. We, we created it here on Kauai. And so that uh, is the mother starter for all of our bread. So mm -hmm. lots of flavor in the bread. Um, we have here a couple of breads. Uh, we have a lot of different breads, but these are a couple of them here. Some French sourdough and some rosemary and sea salt baguette with local rosemary and sea salt. Um, pastries, we also make in-house. We do all the lamination uh, with our own equipment. And so we have a few different options here. Uh, we have uh, the Okinawan sweet potato turnover, macadamia nut cinnamon roll, ginger, zest. What's the go-to, like the one thing that people just come here for? Definitely that mac nut cinnamon roll um, and just a, uh, it's funny, uh, people always ask me, they, they get everything. It's, well, it's so equal, everything? they just get everything. What's your favorite? <laughs> My favorite, oh, man, I like the savory pastries, which I didn't even have here because they sold out so quick. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do the savory pastries myself because uh, I kind of like to have that savory one in the morning and then switch to sweet after that. So what oh, So what should I, what, what should I try? Uh, yeah. I guess try that mac nut cinnamon roll, yeah. So this one For here? sure, yeah, just eat it. Just eat it? Yeah, just bite right into it. <laughs> Falling apart on you. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. Oh, uh, thank you. I've never had anything like this. <laughs> really good. I can understand why you have a line. Yeah, so that's made with our croissant dough. A lot of the times, cinnamon rolls are made with uh, more of like a brioche dough, so they're a little more ready, but this is actually um, part of our croissant dough that we make it with, so lots of layers of butter this is in so there. Good. Yeah. How do people get more information about your bread? So we have a website, um, Instagram, Facebook, all that, Midnight Bear Breads. Um, and, uh, you know, we have our shop in Hanapepe, so um, people like to come by there and hang out, have a cup of coffee, eat some bread and cheese, and uh, we do breakfast and lunch and all that too as well. What, what um, are your hours over there? So right now we're open uh, from Wednesday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. So is it true you get up at 12 a.m., oh, make yes. all this, drive all the way from Hanapepe yep. here, come here and set up? It is. <laughs> Been doing that for about nine years now. Um, consistently and uh, so every Saturday here um, and yeah we bake we make it all during the week uh, and then it's a long fermentation process so we uh, shape all the bread you know all day yesterday on Friday and then um, we have the bread in the walk-in fridge you pull it out in the morning when I get there early the ovens are on and going and just bake as much as we can from you know 1 a.m. till 7 a.m. when I got to take off to come here this is really good <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. you so much for yeah, doing this let's definitely um, for more information, Midnight Midnight Bear Breads. Midnightbearbreads.com. Yep. yep. Thank you very much for doing this. Thank you for being this here. This is incredible. Definitely. This is really good. We're in Hana Pepe at Midnight Bear Bakery with owner Evan McAfee. He has the most incredible bread I've ever tasted, and I don't know what he's doing to it to make it so delicious. He's got lines out the door all the time. Evan, what are you doing to the bread? <laughs> so this is some of our bread here. It's our French sourdough. Um, we start off with our house uh, made sourdough starter that we've had going for about 10 years now. So that adds all the flavor and rise into the bread. Um, so just like an nice open crumb uh, we get with our mix. It's a high hydration dough. Uh, we use a stone hearth oven to bake everything in so that's going to give it a nice you know crust on the bottom um, and you know on the top as well gives it a nice crust. Uh, so the organic flour the techniques we make uh, used to mix it and then bake it through the deck oven style is uh, the old traditional way to make the bread right on the stone and the steam. Uh, so yeah all equates to great bread. So you know I'm met you at the the farmer's market mm -hmm. and I was actually able to keep that bread because I was at in a hotel for four days. Oh nice. And that bread still stayed. I brought it home. The bread still kept. Oh that's good to hear. So what there's it's chewy, it's cr the crust is crunchy, like everything, even the croissant that I tried, mm -hmm. I've never had a croissant like that. Thank you. <laughs> so it's delicious. I mean you make so so you make all these different breads, yeah. you also make all these different yep. pastries. 
Yeah, here's uh, here it some is. of our, we got some pastries here too. So we laminate all of our pastries in house. Um, and uh, you know, like I said, just our old world kind of traditional ways of making the bread in the stone oven um, adds to all that flavor and uh, as well as the uh, keeping of it, um, that you know, the thicker crust kind of uh, makes the bread last a while longer as well as the sourdough culture starter makes it last as well. Um, so, and then the pastries, uh, you know, those are, um, it's kind of like a long task. It takes about three days to actually make them wow. um, until we start baking them. So first we make the dough and then we laminate all the butter into the dough uh, with our sheeter. And then you're baking the next day. Um, really important to let them rise correctly and uh, you know, all that stuff. So so basically um, it's it's a process. It's yeah, a labor of love, definitely. literally. Yeah. It's not just an over, it's, it no, just yeah, We happen. often work, you know, 15 hour days sometimes just kind of, Easy. you know, working away at it and shaping bread and we um we actually shape our bread the day before and then uh, keep it overnight in the refrigerator and then pull it out the next day. So that kind of adds to that texture and flavor of the bread again. Um, and uh, yeah, just, it's all about the flavor development over the small menu uh, things basically and um, honing in on making sure those things are correct each time, which is kind of difficult here because of the heat, uh, you know, making croissants in the heat. We don't have AC in this old building. So, uh, you know, it's definitely um, over the years, we've kind of learned to adapt to the small things like temperature change and humidity and things like that and just uh, the way you shape it um, yeah it's it all it all comes into play so you tend to sell out every day uh, yeah typically um, you know I we sell out at farmers markets a lot um, you know we can only bake so much um, <laughs> as a small team of people um, and so we like to keep the product um, you know just really well uh, established between a small team of people instead of making it where we have multiple locations with all these different people doing everything at once so so uh, kind of just, you know, do everything in-house, small, small batch made, all hand uh, done, and um, yeah, keep it, keep the quality there. So if you come to Hana Pepe, you have to come to this bakery. There's no other place like it. Definitely encourage you to come here early so you can get what you want. Because I mean, I, I'm looking at your inventory now. There's like maybe two, two like two croissants left over there. So yeah, definitely, it's definitely worth the trip. You will never, ever, you will, you will want this all the time. Like I'm so excited to come today. Oh, thank you for coming today. <laughs>we are in Kaloa town and we always want to look for those cute little places that you can find shave ice or hometown little treats we're gonna go into Kaloa mill coffee and ice cream and we're going to follow the chicken feet and meet with Malia so all these pastries are made in-house and Malia is actually gonna be prepping some of the best-selling items and right here is the actual pastry chef that makes these beautiful pastries. Oh my gosh, this is good. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the cinnamon roll. This cinnamon is, roll this with is the cheese frosting. This is the most popular. In my opinion. This is your favorite. favorite. Yes. The must have. Yes, for sure. Is that not good? It's amazing, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. What else is happening here? This is a uh, layered coffee cake. Layered coffee cake. And these are all the items that are made in-house. Wow, so good. And the last two items. This is a pumpkin crunch. Pumpkin crunch and, and a lemon cake. Lemon cake. Lemon cake. This is all made in house. Would you like the water? <laughs> Our coffee. This lemon frosting is amazing. Yeah. 
So good. And then last but not least, our pumpkin pumpkin crunch. Pumpkin crunch. So good. Very, very good. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Malia. This, okay. this is so good. Oh, we have the breakfast sandwich too that's clean. <laughs>